Hi folks. I'm back with uh, what I think is the solution to the shorting problem that I had in the last video using the uh, felt as a, as a membrane. And I think what the problem, I thought I had found the short uh, after that, but I tried it again and uh, still had the same problem. So um, I think uh, the problem uh, is, is like a, a bleed through if you have a, a, a using a paper membrane. And we have no paper membrane on here, so what was happening was the titanium dioxide and uh, was bleeding down into the into the uh, into the carbon. All right, I'm back. It's charged up. We're at uh, 99.3, close enough. 99.4. Let's see what we get now. Three, two, one, and thirty again. All right, I'll be back. All right, it's had about three minutes or so to charge now, and looks like it's going to stay. It's about ninety point nine eight, a little over. Look, look at that! It took a little burst there. Point nine three, nine eight three. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ready? Three, two, one. Uh, not any better. All right. Let's take it apart now. Let's look and see what our. Yeah. Same problem. All right. I'll have to try find uh, maybe. Uh, some uh, cellulose acetate uh, and titanium dioxide would work better on this because uh, we've got uh, definitely bleed bleed through problem and that's uh, that's the only thing stopping us right now from having some a lot better amperage on this. All right, I'll be back. All right, back one more time with a different paper membrane on top of the same felt. Uh, membrane and we'll see what we get here. If the leads reversed. At ninety one three four five it's climbing but not not great. Volts. Let's see what the what their amps are. Three, two, one. 27, oh, 28, that's not bad there, even though the voltage is lower, let's see if the voltage goes up, that's 90, we were at what, 91, something, uh-huh, yeah, we're going to go over 92, woohoo, a good sign right there. Alright, let's test it at 94. 94. And we have 3, 2, 1, 32, 33. Yeah. Alright, now we're on a roll. We're getting our increases like we should. And we started off at a nice, nice level. And our voltage is increasing as we go. Now we're up to we're there. We're at 92 and climbing fast. There's 93, 94 coming up. Let's see if it goes to 95. It does. Pretty quick too. Test it at 9.5 now. See what we get. Ready? 3, 2, 1. 30, 40. Yeah, baby. We are increasing. Perfect. Alright, this looks like this is going to have to be the way it works. We're back 
to 9-2 and climbing faster. to 9.6 this time. So there's 9.5. There's 9.6. solved the problem right there and I might as well show you another one try to fit it into the video if I can and now we're at uh, 98.2 we keep climbing in voltage 98.3 4 5 6 7 8 9 99 let's test it right there should have another increase in amps. Ready? 3, 2, 1, 47. Alright. I'm not sure we had 43 last time. Not sure. Alright. Let's check our self charge. Sure it's doing fine. Fine and fast. Yeah. I love this 30 second self charge. You can cycle this thing a whole bunch of times real fast. Alright, we'll uh, see if we're at 47 something this time. We'll let it charge up uh, and then I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. I gave it a couple extra minutes to charge up and now our voltage is 103. Oops, still climbing. Hit it at 104. How about that? All right. So here we go. 104, and the amps are three, two, one, 58. Yeah, bingo. And every time the voltage and the amps went up. So you plot that out, and you got a really nice curve going up. I think that is the key right there. We're getting better and better and better as it goes and we're almost back up to one volt already nice self charge really good holding power look at that Every, it's going to get back up to the 103 faster so this thing's going to climb in voltage so we're at 1022 right now let's short it right there maybe it'll go up again we'll see Ready? Three, two, one. There's fifty. Look at that holding power. Yeah. That's a real nice slow drop drop in voltage or in amps. I'd say that's got some power, don't you? On a dead short. Okay. Let's see what it. That's voltage is down. It was down to 60. But it's climbing right back up. Alrighty. I'll be back. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. But you knew I would be. And this is a picture of the carbon felt that I uh, that I bought. It was a remnant, uh, a partial roll that this company had, and uh, I got it for a great price. I'm not sure how much is in it. It's 53 inches wide though, and it's a roll. It's a, it's a six uh, six inch roll, so there should be quite a bit in there. And uh, I got it for $121, and that included the shipping on it. Uh, but as you can see from uh, the experiments in this film that I ended up combining the thin film paper membrane research with the carbon felt research and uh, to come up with a, a battery that uh, gets, has the best uh, characteristics of both. There's still some 
improvements I want to make in this, but uh, that looks like the way I'm going to go is a combination of uh, paper and felt. I'll keep you updated as, uh, as new developments happen, and uh, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.